Hello, in this video we will use reference angle to find the exact value of tangent of 510 degrees without the calculator. Let's begin with drawing x and y axis. So we have 0 degrees here, 90 degrees here, 180 degrees here and 270 degrees here and we are back to 360 degrees here. This gives us one rotation, but we are given tangent of 510 degrees, which means it's more than one rotation. So let's find a coterminal angle within one rotation on X and Y axis. And in order to do so, we will take 510 degrees. We will minus one rotation of 360 degrees. This will give us coterminal angle of 150 degrees. 150 degrees will fall between 90 and 180 degrees, so it will be around here. So this is the coterminal angle. The reference angle theta is always with the x-axis, so we need to find this theta. If the coterminal angle is 150 degrees, and we know that half of the rotation is 180 degrees, so if we take 180 degrees, and minus 150 degrees, we will get the reference angle theta, which is equal to 180 minus 150, 30 degrees. Now that we found the reference angle, to find value of tangent of 510 degrees, we know that tangent of 30 degrees is equal to radical 3 out of 3. So tangent of 510 degrees is also equal to radical 3 out of 3. We are almost done. We just need to know whether or not this value is positive or negative in this quadrant. So we have all students take calculus. This means that all are positive in the first quadrant. Sine and its reciprocal is positive in the second quadrant tangent and its reciprocal is positive in the third quadrant and cosine and its reciprocal is positive in the fourth quadrant. Since only sine and cosecant functions are positive in the second quadrant where our angle falls, it means that the value of 510 degrees will be negative radical 3 out of 3 because tangent is negative in the second quadrant. So this will be our solution. That's all.